everyone and welcome to my first video of 2019. Today I'm going to talk about some of my goals and resolutions and plans for the new year. I got myself a new bullet journal a few days ago and I made a list of my goals. So I just want to go over my goals for 2019 in this video so I can look back on this video in the future and also maybe to inspire some of you to make some goals for yourself this year. So the first goal that I have is to do my best in school, work, and life. It's a pretty basic and self-explanatory goal but I really want to try to do my best in everything this year and I want to try to stay away from negativity and not let negative things impact my work and school and life. My second goal is to donate to a different nonprofit every month and I also want to feature a different nonprofit on my YouTube and Instagram every single month because there's a lot of great organizations that are doing amazing work and I just really want to do everything that I can to support them. And I also want to encourage other people to support them as well. So if you have any organizations that you think I should support, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to check them out. My third goal is to volunteer more and not just on campaigns. I volunteered for a few different campaigns in 2018 but I also wasn't volunteering at as many nonprofit organizations as I usually do. So I really want to step up my game and volunteer more. So if you know of any organizations, preferably in the Bay Area, that need volunteers, Feel free to let me know in the comments below or DM me or email me. I really want to do meaningful work this year and I really want to donate my time to important causes and I think volunteering is a great way to do that. My fourth goal, which is probably one of my most ambitious goals, is to start my own nonprofit. I dedicated a lot of time in 2018 to helping people with the name change process in California and I really want to make a nonprofit out of that so that I can raise money for people's court fees. That's one of the biggest barriers that a lot of you have said that you have with the process. So I want to make a new website with new guides and resources. I'll probably be launching the website within the next month or so and then I do also want to go through the process of making it an official nonprofit. The filing fee is pretty expensive so it might take me a while to save all that money up but I do want to try to do that by the end of the year. My fifth goal is to use less plastic. Most of you probably know plastic is terrible for the environment so I really want to try to use way less of it. I know that this is going to be really hard for me because pretty much everything that you buy at stores comes with plastic, but I really want to try to live as plastic free as I possibly can this year. My sixth goal is something that I've talked about a lot recently and that is that I want to be more strategic. There were so many situations in 2018 where I let my anger get the best of me and I burned bridges too quickly without really taking the time to explain myself and to try to find common ground with people. So I want to try to be more strategic about things and work with new people and work with people that I've disagreed with in the past. So I think that at the end of the day I do have some goals in common with these people and I think that we can work together and actually achieve what we want to achieve. I tried to do a lot of things by myself in 2018 and it just didn't work out for me. My seventh goal is to spend more time outside. My allergies are a lot better now that I've been on immunotherapy for almost five months, so I really want to take advantage of that and spend more time outside and go hiking on trails in my area. My eighth goal is to explore more of the Bay Area and go to places that I've never been before. The past years, I've made goals to travel outside of the state. That's something that's very hard for me to do because of time and money, but there are so many cool places that aren't very far from me that I can get to easily and explore so I really want to do that this year. My ninth goal is to learn more about Bay Area history. I know quite a bit about San Francisco history but I don't know a lot about the history of San Jose and Silicon Valley in general so I really want to learn more about that and I want to take advantage of some of the resources that are at my school's library. My tenth goal is to be more involved in the Cambrian community. For those of you that don't know I live in Cambrian Park which is a community within San Jose. Even if I don't end up staying here long term I still want to leave a positive mark on this community and I want to get involved in any way that I can. My 11th goal is to continue to run DK Day every month. I started running in May last year and I've done the Nike 50k challenge every month since then and I want to continue doing that this year because I think that it was really good for me. But my 12th goal is to post a new video every single Sunday. I've been posting videos every Sunday for multiple years at this point and I want to continue with that because this is something that I really enjoy doing. So if you have any video ideas for me feel free to comment them down below and I'll try my best to do them. My 13th goal is to apply for graduation. I really want to graduate in the spring of 20 20 and in order to do that I need to apply for graduation sometime this year. I want to try to do it sooner rather than later so that I can get priority registration twice and also so I don't have to worry about it. And my 14th and final goal is to spread positivity. Pretty negative by things that were happening in my own life and things that were happening in the world last year and I talked about negative things way too much in real life and on social media and while I still think that it's important to be honest with all of you and with people in my life. I really want to try to focus on positive things this year and spread a more positive message. So those are all of my goals for 2019 so far. Let me know what your goals and resolutions are down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.